Hello students, I am Dr. Tanumay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is this MCQ. What reagent is needed for this transformation? I request you student, please read the question carefully, pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box and along with the answer, please write few words to explain why this is the right answer. Don't worry, after some time you get the right answer. But remember one statement, self-evaluation is essential for improvement and for that you should try. Now let's just start the discussion. So the question is asked that what reagent is needed for the transformation? What transformation? This double bond or alkene is shifted to this. Means less substituted alkene is converted into more substituted alkene. Or you may consider this is enol ether or enolate. Now, so before going to details, first we need to understand the electronic distribution of this molecule such that the chemical reactivity we can understand properly. What happens in this case, this lone pair of electron ha participates in a resonance. So ultimately, the electron density more is in the carbon. Okay, So you may consider that this is more electron density Okay, and this oxygen is carrying a partial positive charge. Now. A simple question you may think that sir, which canonical firm has more contribution in overall electronic distribution of this molecule? Obviously this neutral one. Why? Because in the second one here, the charge separation is observed and remember student, charge separation is always associated with some unstabilization. But what this charge separation indicates? This charge separation indicates that electron density so this electron density on this carbon is more. So consequently you can expect the reaction from this carbon center. And if you look at uh, basic, basicity versus nucleophilicity, if you compare, initially oxygen center is expected to be more basic because of hardness. But in this case, the electron density is more on this carbon atom. So basicity as well as nucleophilicity both is observed on this alpha carbon. Okay, so this is the background discussion. I guess you have understood. Now let's utilize this knowledge to explain what happens if we treat this molecule or this enolate with acid. So from this, this discussion you have understood that this center is more electron rich. So what is expected that these will abstract the proton. Fine. And it will produce this protonator. So this blue proton came by proton abstraction. Now this molecule is actually an unsymmetrical enolate. One side is methyl, another is hydrogen. So not only methyl, you can consider that there is another hydrogen here, it is true. Now what can happen? This blue proton could be eliminated and the molecule can go back to the reactant side, one possible side, one reaction, another side reaction and that is why you can consider this is a reversible reaction. Now what is the another possibility that? this proton could be abstracted okay this proton could be abstracted and it can convert into this enolate and you can consider this is more substituted enolate why i am saying this is more substituted enolate or silyl enol ether because this is actually a double bond this double bond is in between one methyl and one osi me3 and if you compare this thing with this one or you can consider the primary one here the double bond is in between one hydrogen and SiMe3. So it is less substituted. So what we are actually getting, we are actually getting less substituted enolate to more substituted enolate. Okay. Now a question you may think that sir, we are using acidic medium. And by the way, this source of acid is PTS or para toluene sulfonic acid. It's an, you may consider that organic analog of sulfuric acid. Now, who is acting as a base to abstract this proton? Student, remember, and this molecule means this molecule can act as a base. But just some time before I have shown that this negative charge is abstracting proton and produces this. Now, second phase, other molecule means other this T molecule remaining in the reaction medium or this you may consider this KCP can abstract this means what do I mean that it can abstract and it can produce this. So in this way reaction will continue because in the second step 
proton is regenerated here so this proton will again pro protonate another kcp so this is called the kcp and this is the tcp why this is kcp see the acidity of this hydrogen means what is the parent compound if you look at the parent compound is actually student this unsymmetrical ketone so this hydrogen this is actually secondary hydrogen and this here also one hydrogen there this is a tertiary hydrogen and by the way this secondary hydrogen is first of all less bulky second is more acidic because one methyl group is not there means methyl group shows the plus i effect so plus i effect is absent so we can consider this secondary hydrogen is relatively more acidic so if it is more acidic then and this is less bulky so it could be produced very easily so this is actually kinetically controlled product or kcp and this other one means this one is tcp why because the double bond is more substituted so according to setzeff rule at setzeff rule so this is more substituted alkenes are more stable so this is more stable so this is the overall reaction now question what is the driving force of this reaction so by the way i think you are not able to visualize it what is the driving force of this reaction see kcp is somehow relatively less stable than tcp point number 1 so from a less stable you are getting a relatively i repeat student the word relatively more stable so during this conversion transformation there is a delta g it is true that it is less neg slight less negative a slightly less negative but still this delta g is negative so if this delta g is negative that is the condition for spontaneity so you can understand that after some time all the kcp means this enolate it will be converted into the corresponding tcp in presence of this acid so this is the overall discussion now question is what is the answer answer is option c this is the h plus now why not other options see student just look at these two options this lda is a triethylamine is a mild base and lda is a strong base they will abstract proton but from where it's true that there are other protons also but the corresponding conjugate base is not stabilized okay now you can say that sir there is a proton it could be abstracted let's abstract this what is the consequence this is o s i m3 okay and this is the carbon ion here how it will be stabilized it's not that much stabilized you can say that sir it can push it can give no 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 student it is not that much stabilized so this will not happen and not only that it is a methyl there is a methyl so steric effect is also there acidity less why this reaction will happen it's not possible so that's why the best reagent for this conversion is h plus and by the way student always remember when a mcq is given it is asking the most correct answer so this is the most correct answer is h plus and triethylamine is pretty weaker so it can't do anything so in conclusion what you have learned enolates are the reaction intermediates and they could be trapped using silyl ether formation and they could be stored for unsymmetrical ketone two types of enolate formation possible one is kcp or kinetically controlled product and another is tcp or thermodynamically controlled product tcp is more stable because it's more substituted alkene types so according to setzeff rule it is stable the kcp or carbon ion produced faster rate due to less bulky and relatively less acidic proton and finally carbon ion is softer in nature so it is more nucleophilic now this is the reference from where i have taken this and you can see the equilibrium constant k is near about 10 it means that it is slow but it happens means you can see the equilibrium is shifted towards product side or this is the tcp side okay so this is the end of the discussion i believe this video may be useful if it is please help this channel to grow and if possible please visit my another channel where i upload global warming and climate change related videos thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye